Hi, I'm Dr. Steve G. Jones, clinical hypnotherapist here with Chanel. Hello, Chanel. Hi, Steve. And thanks for volunteering for this. Yeah, no are you, are, are you nervous or uh, excited? I'm, I'm excited more than anything, so okay. I'm, I'm excited to see how this goes. Okay. Well, you've been to a uh, seminar before that uh, Dr. Joe Vitale and I did, mm -hmm. and uh, we put you into hypnosis there. What was your experience like during that? Um, it was a great experience, honestly. I think it was a very peaceful experience. Um, I don't recall a whole lot uh, being in hypnosis, but okay. I think it was a very smooth process, so I okay. enjoyed it. Okay, good. And that's a good indication. And when we hear someone say that they, that they don't recall much of the actual hypnosis session, that's an indicator uh, that they may be very suggestible hypnotically, which means uh, this uh, session, this work we do here today may be actually very interesting. So I'm going to have uh, Chanel do a, a number of things. None of them will be embarrassing to you, but, <laughs> but they will demonstrate the power of hypnosis because in our talk about that previous session that we had off camera before filming this, mm -hmm. uh, I, I was really convinced that you went deeply into hypnosis and that this uh, could be very visually compelling. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started without further ado. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, great. So what I'd like you to do is just continue sitting like you're, like you're sitting okay. and uh, close your eyes and just take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it, open your mouth slightly and exhale slowly. Good. Then when you're ready, another deep breath in through your nose. Hold it, open your mouth slightly and exhale slowly and continue breathing easily, effortlessly, and comfortably. Just breathe at your own pace in a relaxed way, and what you're going to find is that every breath relaxes you even more deeply. Now normally during this phase, I would do a, a long induction where I'm inducing the hypnotic state, maybe 10 minutes, uh, maybe even longer, maybe up to a half an hour depending on the, the person and the situation. In this case, I have a lot of reason to believe that Chanel is very suggestible hypnotically, so I'm going to shorten that quite a bit. I'm also going to combine the induction with the deepening. Normally there'd be an induction and a deepening. Uh, I'm going to, to combine the two because I feel that uh, it's not necessary to spend that much time putting her into a trance state because of her level of suggestibility. So the more I talk, the more you relax. And you'll find that with each breath you take, you go deeper and deeper, allowing yourself to drift into a deep state of hypnosis now, as you just imagine in front of you a beautiful beach. Can you imagine that? Just a beautiful, relaxing beach. And as I talk, you just imagine yourself walking down to that beach, relaxing as you go. And as you walk down to the water's edge, you find that each step you take relaxes you more and more the closer you walk to the water. And as you relax more and more deeply, your mind becomes open to possibility, the possibility of you going more deeply now into hypnosis, doubling your trance state now. That's right, allowing yourself to relax even more deeply. And as I talk, it feels as though a string is tied around your left wrist here. And attached to that string is a helium balloon which pulls upward on your wrist. So the more I talk, the more your hand rises in the air. Because the more I talk, the more relaxed you become. And the more relaxed you become, the more you become aware of the pull of that helium balloon, allowing you to relax even more deeply now. It seems as if the more you relax on that beach, the more that helium balloon just pulls upward on your wrist. As you relax and drift and unwind now, listening to every word I say, allowing yourself to double your relaxation now. And the more I talk, the more you relax. The more you relax, the more your hand rises slowly upward toward the ceiling as that helium balloon tugs on your wrist even more now. The tug becomes more intense as you relax more and more deeply, allowing yourself to drift and float and unwind. It seems as if every word I speak now takes you more and more deeply into a hypnotic state. And as I count backwards now from 10 to 1, it seems as if your hypnotic state increases more and more deeply with each number I count. 
starting with the number 10 and you feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into a hypnotic state. So very relaxed and at ease. Nine, sinking deeper now. As that helium balloon begins to pull more on your wrist and you relax more and more deeply. Eight, down, down, deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed. Seven, six, down, down. Five, relaxing more and more deeply as your wrist rises faster now. Five becomes four and then three as you relax more and more deeply. Beginning to believe in yourself now, beginning to believe that your future is in your control and you can do anything you want to do. Two, relaxing even more now as your wrist rises higher and higher. The count of the next number, you will really feel a strong pull from that helium balloon and you will relax completely. All right, now one, that helium balloon is really pulling hard now on your wrist as you relax more and more deeply. Very good. And in just a moment, your wrist is going to fall back to your lap, and when it does, you will forget the number seven. The number seven will be gone from your memory. For the next ten minutes, the number seven will be gone from your memory. And your wrist falls back to your lap now as you relax more and more deeply. When you open your eyes in just a few moments, you will have forgot the number seven. You are so relaxed now and at ease. Your eyes will open, but you will still be in a hypnotic state. On the count of three, your eyes will open, and I will be able to put you back into a hypnotic state by simply saying the word sleep and touching your left shoulder like this, sleep. And that will only last for the next half hour, and then it will wear off, as your memory also comes back in 10 minutes. So you will be able to remember the number seven in 10 minutes, but for right now it is gone from your mind. All right now, one, two, three, eyes open. And Chanel, and I'd like you to do a demonstration for us if you don't mind. Okay. I'd like you to just count to 10, from count one to 10. 10, just that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, Eight, nine, ten. Oh, very good. And sleep. And as you relax and drift and float, you realize just how powerful you are. And you realize that from now on, you will live your life with power, making creative, powerful choices that benefit you. And you will go for your dreams. You will live the life that you have imagined, a life that is powerful for you and serves as a powerful example for all those in your life. Do you understand that? Very good. You are so very, very relaxed. And in just a moment, when your eyes open, you will find it very humorous any time I say the word remote control. When I say that word, you will burst into laughter. You will not understand why you are laughing, but for the next 10 minutes, that word remote control will be very funny any time I say it. And remember that if I touch your shoulder and say sleep like this, sleep, any time within the next few minutes, you will go back into a hypnotic state. All right now, eyes open on the count of three, but you will still be in hypnosis. One, two, three, eyes open. How are you feeling? Good. Very good. You're a wonderful hypnotic subject, so I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, no problem. I mean, it's, it's, it's as if I have a remote control and I can just make you go into hypnosis anytime. <laughs> so it's just really powerful. Um, uh, speaking of that, I have a, a remote control here. <laughs> That's so. a nice remote control. <laughs> Why, thank you. Thank you. It's very, uh, it's one of those all-in-one deals, so it does everything at once. I think eventually the remote controls <laughs> will be built into our brains. In our brains? That's an interesting thought. It's possible. You never know. And sleep. And you realize now just how powerful and amazing and wonderful you are. You're an amazing, wonderful, awesome person and you will go for every one of your dreams and achieve them because you believe in yourself. You believe in how amazing you are. You are an awesome, wonderful, amazing person. And in just a few moments, you will open your eyes 
and you will find that your feet are very warm. And the more I talk, the more warm your feet become. Now, for you watching, this is a basic stage hypnotic technique. This is something used in stage hypnosis for entertainment. We're doing it here for demonstration purposes. This is a real hypnosis session with a real person being hypnotized, and I want to demonstrate to you the power of suggestion so that you understand just how powerful it is. Remember, when you open your eyes, you will feel that the bottoms of your feet are getting more and more hot the more I talk when your eyes are open. All right, now, eyes opening on the count of three. One, two, three, eyes open. So how are you feeling so far? Good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Good, good. My Here. feet are sweating, but... That's okay, that's normal. That, that's that, normal. that happens. <laughs> ah, they're hot. Oh, boy. Well, it could be the floor. The floor? I'll have to have that looked at. heated? It could be. <laughs> could be the new uh, yeah. floor heater. And they're kind of warm. So, uh, yeah, that's okay. Well, um, I'm sorry. I said it's a little odd. I mean, a little odd. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Well, it, it's normal. It's normal. Like, uh, yeah, it's sweating. normal. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. So how's your experience so far in hypnosis? How do you feel? Good. Well, I feel great. Yeah. Okay. I feel a little more energized and everything. Oh, so, good, good. So yeah. you're enjoying the process? Yeah, no, it's good. That? Minus okay. my feet be warm. Well, <laughs> that happens. That's just sometimes a byproduct of the hypnotic process. That oh, happens that's just a byproduct? Wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. It's oh, okay. completely normal. Is it uncomfortable? Or? It's normal. <laughs> Is it uncomfortable? It's, it's a little uncomfortable. It's a little weird. Okay. Well, I have a solution for that. Okay. Sleep. And as you continue relaxing, you continue to get in touch with just how amazing you are. And you think now of the possibilities that you have of creating the future that you want. And you think now of a project that you want to have happen, something that you want to do, something that you want to complete. And you realize that when you come completely out of hypnosis at the end of our session today, you will make a plan to make that happen, to create whatever it is you want to create, to move forward with your life. And once you do achieve that goal, you realize that the future belongs to you. You will realize at that point in time when you've achieved your creative goal, when you've accomplished something in the creative realm that you've been wanting to create, you will realize at that point in time that you can do anything. The future will belong to you. So you, tonight, before going to bed, will make a plan to create that idea, to manifest it, to have it happen for you. I happen to know, by the way, that Chanel has a number of artistic uh, interests, mostly in the realm of writing. So this is going to benefit her quite a bit. And in just a few moments, when you open your eyes, all of the hypnotic suggestions that I have given to you will be gone, except the one about sleep. When I touch your left shoulder and say the word sleep, you will go back into a hypnotic state. But when I have you open your eyes, you are going to think that when I talk, it sounds like a foreign language, and you're not going to understand anything that I say, except when I say sleep. You're going to find this very odd that you don't understand anything that I say, and it's only going to last for a maximum of 10 minutes, and then that suggestion will wear out. It's very important, by the way, to limit these suggestions so they do not carry on past it. This is something that stage hypnotists know very well, that they want to limit the suggestions so that when people leave the audience and leave the stage, they're not affected past the time of the performance. All right now, your eyes will be open at the count of three, but you will still be in hypnosis. One, two, three. Eyes open. And what I think needs to be done here is that we just need to have a, a pretty basic conversation about hypnosis, the power of the mind, the human conscience, the way to move forward in our lives. Wait, can you explain that again? The, uh, the idea that I want to explain is that, uh, that um, one plus one equals two and that we need to understand um, uh, the alphabet and we need to understand um, the power of the subconscious mind. I'm sorry, you gotta explain that one more time. Okay, let me, let me put it this way. Sleep. 
And when your eyes open this next time, you will be completely out of hypnosis and all of these suggestions that I've given to you will be gone except the ones about your future, creating that powerful future. And when you open your eyes, you will have some wonderful ideas to share, some wonderful ideas about how you can create your future, what you can do to enhance your life. You'll have some powerful creative ideas. Remember, you're going to put one of these into action and when you complete it, you're going to feel so good about yourself and you're going to realize that the future is yours. So in just a few moments, when you open your eyes, all hypnotic suggestions will be gone, except for the ones about your powerful future. And you will be able to share some ideas right now, right here, about how you're going to create a powerful, creative future. And you will be completely out of hypnosis when you open your eyes. Open your eyes in the count of three. One, two, three. Eyes open. Have you enjoyed the hypnosis session? Yeah, no, it's been great. I feel good. Okay, wonderful. And do you have some ideas that you've generated during the session about um, what you can do in the future, some creative ideas? Um, well, honestly, I think a big thing that came to mind is that I wanted to start a blog and I really want to pursue that. I have so many stories I feel like that I can share with people okay. that can affect people in a positive manner. So. Okay. And my understanding from talking to you before uh, we were filming is that you want to start a travel blog, is that right? Yes, yes, travel that's blog. correct. Excellent. And just give you a little publicity here, what's it going to be called? Uh, the Traveling Capricorn. Because so. Tra that's your zodiac sign. Yes, that's Capricorn. right. That's Wonderful. my zodiac sign. Okay, well from what I know about the zodiac, uh, Capricorns love to travel. A lot of my friends <laughs> are Capricorns and I see them in all different parts of the world and I know you travel quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So recently you were in uh, Hawaii then uh, uh, San Diego mm -hmm. and Los Angeles and Las Vegas and traveling quite a bit. Yeah. Of course you're from Montana so you're, yes. you're very far from home. Small so. town girl. <laughs> yes, seeing the world. Very good. So what, what kinds of things will you do when you when you uh, create your travel blog? Um, well, I think a big portion of it would be traveling, exploring different cultures, and then just taking down my adventures and my experiences and some of the positive outcomes I've had from those experiences. So. Oh, wonderful. Well, hopefully this has been a positive experience. Yes, it has. I feel great, so yeah. thank you. Sure, feel free to write about it. Feel free Most to definitely. All right. It'll be on the Traveling Capricorn. <laughs> write, write about the part that you remember anyway. Yeah, that's this. right, that's go. right. You can watch the rest on YouTube. <laughs> Remember oh, oh <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> Nothing bad happened. Okay, right. <laughs> I take your word. Well, thanks, Chanel. Thanks Thank for being you. here. I'm Dr. Steve G. Jones, and for more information about hypnosis, I want you to check out the website that I've created for you, which is stevegjones.com. Lots of free information there about hypnosis and also a free recording for you. I'm Dr. Steve G. Jones, here with Chanel, and we hope you have an outstanding day.